Hello and welcome to another episode of RimWorld. Uh, last time we got our sun lamp up. We got a couple of uh, hydroponic basins up. Maybe we'll put another couple in here. Um, I just I, I've never used these before, so don't really know. I don't know how much food this is going to produce in the end. Uh, we just got this up, and uh, so the potatoes are close to done. So if we can get the potatoes, then maybe we won't starve to death. Uh, we are. Uh, running out of food we got a little bit of squirrel meat going on here and uh we got uh, a little bit of, of stuff out here that you know somebody could bring in and uh, we could maybe make some uh make some food out of it making kibble yeah go for it cat make some kibble uh, we got Mary out hunting, uh, a small game at the moment. There's some alpacas down here, which is a little bit bigger game, but we did hunt a bunch of buffalo. We hunted some deer, so uh, our all meat diet is uh, slowly coming to an air. Aw, uh, beer. <laughs> what, a, what a great name for a bear, the bear named Beer. Uh, someone suggested I also send Hurdle out hunting, uh, Hurdle and Dixon. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right at the moment. Um, also they said uh, someone said I screwed up on my clothing assignment my manage outfits because uh, I managed the anything outfit so now nobody can wear uh, a personal shield um, but they also pointed out that a, a animal tamer having a uh, shield and armor is actually not, not a bad idea. So, uh, maybe we'll just allow anybody to wear anything at the moment and, uh, we'll figure other stuff out later. This, uh, volcanic winter really, uh, really hurt us in terms of food, but, uh, we'll get some stuff going here. Our animals were starving for a little while. Let's, uh, somebody can wear that if they want. It's... Gunner. Gunner and beer. I don't think I can sell beer now, right? Uh, grizzly bear. Male. Female. No, where's the, where's the bear named beer? Is there a bear named Beer? Fonzie. Look at all that blood. At least we got kibble going on. Uh, so they'll they'll eat. Oh, we got a, we got a bunny and. Somebody go get the. Well, somebody did go down and get the. There was a wounded alpaca down here, so somebody went and got it. We're hunting the squirrel and alpaca. You know, just enough to keep going here. Once we get some. Why is nobody bringing this stuff in? Dixon? You just haul it? I don't even care. Just bring it in, man. Mang? Julio's hauling stuff, so I'm not sure why he's not hauling. That stuff. We got some beer ready to go when things get bad. Start eating people. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, I was going to tame more animals and, and sell them, but uh, I had that food issue for a while. So, uh, just have to... Oh. Long range sniping by Mary. She after the squirrel? Oh my god. Long range squirrel sniping. So in the art tab, you can actually 
uh, see what the art represents. And so this piece, this excellent quality wooden sculpture, is titled Black Forest. On this work is a representation of a wild boar being hunted by Mary. Nice! I should put that in Mary's room. Uh, as the wild boar relaxes. The wild boar is looking around as though she senses that something is wrong. There's a mountain in the background and the symbolic style of the central scene clashes with the pop art depiction of the background. This image relates to Mary's successful hunt on the 10th of winter, 5501. And then the piece in Dixon's room, darkness for sadness. So that's perfect for Dick Dixon. On this sculpture is a portrayal of a mace. If you squint your eyes, the square composition of the image reveals the outline of a vole, while the work has a graffiti-like feeling and a triangular. So it's, this one's fairly uh, abstract, I'll say. And over here, this normal quality one, Bliss for Trulio. This work portrays Emmanuel Trulio sash sashaying while in a state of nature for no apparent reason. Trulio is visibly aroused. If you squint your eyes, the triangular composition of the image reveals the outline of a cormorant. While the work is executed in an impressionistic style, the artwork refers to Trulio walking around naked on the 6th of summer. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's great. Oh, superior. Cruelty. This carving bears a portrayal of Mary Keith hunting a wild boar. Um, we already have one of those. But we'll install it. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got one down here. Uh, well, let's put it right there. We'll install it over there. This one here. Codex by Lonesomeness. This piece represents Melissa Parsnip Greylight calming a wild hare with a smile. The hare appears to be in some sort of hypnotic state. The ferret sits at the left part of the image while the overall composition is triangular. This image related to Parsnip's taming of the hare on the fifth of fall. That's very cool. Potato plants are almost ready. Uh, we have four simple meals, so we're not gonna we're not gonna starve. Um, and we got a chicken. I don't know why. Can I get the... It's not tamed, right? Let's tame the chicken. Cat the repairer. Bruno. Was it? I swear it was a bear that he named. Beer. It was a hare. Okay. Why did I think it was a bear? Barbarian. They're almost all named. Look at all these animals we have. It's so awesome. Our, our little army of bunnies. This volcanic winter is now... Can we, it started on the 9th of spring. And it's already lasted 13 days. And it's really annoying. Really annoying. Do we? We have been hauling in uh, a lot of the scrap. We've actually gone through all of the scrap that we had uh, stored here, so that's pretty good. What I'd like to do. this one. Oops, delete zone. Oh, no, that's Eclipse. Oh, that's not helpful. 
Okay, what I wanted to do, dumping stockpile. Why is this? Hmm. Let's do this, dumping stockpile. some traps over here maybe although I gotta get access to them so uh, maybe I'll only put like that So they have to walk through uh, basically rougher terrain. Uh, it will provide cover, but they'll have to walk through stuff. Nobody fixed that yet? Cat didn't fix that? Uh, yeah, we definitely want to get some granite chunks in there. Let's do this here. Storage. We want chunks. Uh, we don't want the steel slag in here. Stone chunks. We're not going to put granite in there for now. Put everything else but granite in there. And we'll put uh, priority preferred. And we'll try and fill this up with uh, chunks. You know, like chunks like this and this will go in there. That's a lot of chunks. Uh, I guess these four could get hauled. I guess we only have room for three. And we have some more. I guess they'll end up over here. Yeah, bringing in some steel stuff. Uh, we've got an area cleared there. An area cleared here, ready to expand our freezer. We don't really need it yet. Um, but the potatoes, some of these potatoes are going to be done. Clips, solar generator. Yeah, we've got low food. One simple meal left. Got an alpaca though. And a squirrel. That's worth a couple meals, right? Are we also totally out again of... Looks like we're totally out of kibble again. We need these to uh, finish growing. We have a lot of stuff to haul in. Plant cut mine, craft. Let's just switch everybody to uh, one on hauling for now and see how much stuff they get hauled in. You know, they'll do all their other stuff first and then uh, do some hauling, so. Get some wood. Oh, it's over. It's over. We got animal starvation, but it's over. We need some kibble. 
Where's Dixon? Really, dude? We had animals starving and you're visiting a grave? Tony. A little bit crowded. Yeah, there's some bunnies in there. Feeling bad. A little pain. Hot. How hot is... Oh, you know what? Let us... Toggle the power on all the heaters. Uh, can you just switch the heater off? Are you eating potatoes raw, really? Dixon, yeah, can you? Butcher. Can you butcher? Can you? All right, we don't have enough potatoes and rice to do anything with to make kibble. Oh my God, it's so close. I could uh, unlink those. Are you going to eat raw meat? No. Oh, the bunnies are eating it. You can't haul. No, do not eat the squirrel meat. Bury the squirrel meat. <laughs> Tony was just gonna eat some squirrel meat. Uh, Tony, go get a meal. food that's great oh, we got some potatoes coming in how much meat, meat oh we have no meat left now I didn't stop them in time Hunt it. All right. Uh, hurdle. Dixon's terrible at hunting, but sure, we'll we'll put him on hunting. some bunnies. I mean, I could kill off some bunnies, but that's that's not right. Yeah, let's get some more bunnies and squirrels. Turtles. Oh yeah, hunt all those squirrels. We're gonna hunt the map dry. Except for bears. Bears are dangerous.
Oh my god, watching Diego get shot by Dixon. Or Hurdle. Okay, uh, so we got potatoes coming in. Bunnies can eat that at least. I have the animals restricted to animal area one, so they can't get at the potatoes. Alright, we got some bunny meat coming in. Alright. Chop that up, Dixon. How much how much bunny? How much meat does that one hair give you? What's he doing? No 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 no. Let's make some kibble first. Where are you going? Oh, you're gonna. There we go. Make some kibble, and then make some meals. Money's elite. Yay, it's warm out. Yeah, we do have low food. We got some potatoes coming in. Uh, we don't have a ton of them, but. Alright, who is it now? Dixon, of course it's Dixon. It's always Dixon. No joy in your life, man. No joy. Didn't I have... I thought I built a... horseshoe pin at one point, didn't I? Did I somehow break it at one point? build that so that people can have some joy. Fertile. Why don't you build that? Low food. Yes, we don't have any food. We have no meat. Uh, we have a bunch of potatoes though, so we can actually change the bill temporarily to uh, allow uh, veggies. Dixon. Cook up some meals, buddy. Right, here's poor little cat. The mood's increasing. Urgently hungry. Can you eat, cat? There you go. Can I, I'm going to put these in here. I didn't need them in there originally, but uh, meals. We got a couple of survival meals now. At least all the chicken can eat it, I guess. <laughs> have some more potatoes coming in and all this stuff will maybe grow a little bit um, so we'll get we'll get a bunch of a bunch of stuff eventually oh we got oh no 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 no, 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 no. I gotta change this priority now uh, don't allow rotten uh, let's just not allow 
Actually, yeah, just don't allow corpses, period. And somebody will have to start hauling the... There we go. Okay, Dixon, you're no longer hunting. I want you uh, cooking. There's a bunch of meat to... Yeah. Okay, let's change our bill back. After he cooks that, we'll uh, have him make some meat meals. Looks like we're out of kibble again, too. That's right, make some kibble. Make some more kibble, because they eat it fast. Oh my god, the bears. They eat a lot of... No, 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 no. You're not... Uh... Uh, let's... Let's allow veggies. You're gonna have to. Cook. Yeah, cook, cook there. Yeah, the bunnies will eat it. The bears will eat it. It's good. We need people to cook some meals. Got a bunch of potatoes now, so we'll be fine once we get some meals cooked here. Oh, we got some rice coming in. Yeah, we'll be we'll be in good shape. We'll be in good shape. Now, since we're short on the old meat, we'll, uh, we'll just not allow meat, and we'll just go fully vegetarian for a little while. That way the meat can go towards uh, making kibble, since uh, the, these animals just chug through the kibble. Oh, we got a warg? That's not good. Oh yeah. Hunt those squirrels. Get all these potatoes. Oh, that's gonna be great. All potato diet. Packa now. Oh, that's great. It's gonna be hot in there. You need somewhere better to sleep. Um, set it for colonists. You can now have your own own room cat. There you go. Hurdle, you can keep. Ooh, look at this. 
Uh, let's make sure we get that in. We could go for the injured ward. Let's do that. Let's, uh, oh, we got it. Wow. We got some cargo pods coming in. Let's draft her. And Trulio, you can do nothing. Julio, um, let's get out of the line of fire there. Wait. Oh. Oh, he's going for the warp corpse. Can't allow that to happen. Oh, we got him. Nice. Okay. Mary, what are you? You're still hunting. Who are you hunting? Draft. Okay. Can you? You're not a hauler. I guess we're gonna consume that. Uh, we need somebody to haul these corpses. Good, 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 good. There we go. We're doing okay. We got a bunch of potatoes. We got a bunch of meat coming in now. Uh, ah, now that summer is almost over, <laughs> just terrible, terrible. Uh, but we got some uh, deer here, so we'll be able to hunt those. We just need to get somebody out there to haul in that, uh, haul in that stuff. hunting and you're going and you're hauling so that's good that's fine hauling those corpses thank you that's great yeah so uh, we're doing all right we uh, made it through the volcanic winter it looks like we're gonna get some heal root so that'll be good uh, we're gonna need to probably expand our freezer a bit uh, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll start working on that Oops. Like so. We'll just uh, smooth the floor. Where's smooth the floor here? And uh, yeah, once we got that built in, we'll uh, break the wall and uh, we'll have a bigger freezer. Get some thunderstorms coming in. Get some fires probably, but. Uh, yeah, hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Oh, and here's the uh, cargo pods that I forgot to look up. Looks like we got some buffalo leather. That's fine. More slag that can turn into metal. It'll all be good. It'll all be good. So, if you've been enjoying the series so far, don't, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me a lot. And until next time, Delgaro. No